how we've been chasing the dream of true character consistency, where you can take a photo of a person and then put them in any video, any scene, and have them look exactly the same? Well, I think ByteDance might have just cracked the code. They've just dropped a new paper and model called Lynx, with the full title being Lynx Towards High Fidelity Personalized Video Generation, and trust me, the results are going to blow your mind. But before we get into the eye candy, let's talk numbers, because the proof is in the data. The Lynx team compared their model against some heavy hitters in the AI video space, models you've probably heard of, like Skyreel's A2, Vase, and Phantom. And when you look at the benchmark scores, Lynx isn't just winning, it's dominating. In quantitative comparisons for face resemblance, Lynx achieves the highest scores across three different evaluation models. And it's not just about the face. In tests for prompt following, aesthetic quality, and overall video quality, Lynx consistently outperforms the competition, scoring the highest in three out of four of those metrics. Now, let's get to the fun part and see what this thing can actually do. We'll start with a single reference image of a woman. First up, a simple prompt. She is standing at a train station. The video it generates is incredible. She's there, the scene is alive, a train is passing by in the background, but the real magic? Her face. It is exactly the same as the photo. There are no weird artifacts, no uncanny valley effect. You might see a few strands of hair blowing lightly in the wind, but otherwise, the identity is locked in. Let's switch up the vibe completely. Same person, new prompt, a Halloween scene where she's opening the lid of a pumpkin. And there it is. The model creates the whole spooky atmosphere and she's interacting with the object perfectly. Her facial similarity is, once again, flawless. The model also understands context, so it changes her dress to fit the scene based on our prompt. The level of control is just fantastic. How about some action? Let's give it a prompt of her passing through a colorful street. The result is this beautiful, natural-looking slow-motion shot of her walking. And I know I sound like a broken record, but you have to look at the face. It's identical. No distortion, no changes at all. Let's try another one. She is wearing a crown of flowers on her head with a field of yellow mustard flowers behind her. The video is just beautiful. She's standing in the field, wearing this gorgeous crown made of fresh flowers, and you can see the mustard plants swaying in the background. But it's the subtly human expressions where Lynx really shines. Check this one out. The prompt is that she is sitting in a roadside cafe, looking at her phone, and then laughing. In the video, you can see her sitting there, and through the glass window, you get this slight sense of rain outside, with traffic passing by. She glances at her phone, and her face lights up with a genuine-looking laugh. The emotional range it can capture while keeping the face an exact match is next level. And the examples just keep coming. Here she is against a gray background, then riding a bicycle, then drinking coffee by a window. In every single clip, you'd swear it was the same person filmed on different days. Let's look at some of the even more complex prompts from their project page. Here's a headshot of a woman, and the prompt is, an astronaut floating in zero gravity inside a spaceship, reaching to grab an apple while smiling with curiosity and wonder. Now, in the final video, she isn't fully floating herself, but the apple is just as requested, and she's wearing a full-on spacesuit. The most remarkable thing, again, is that her face is perfectly preserved inside that helmet. There is absolutely no difference, which is a common failure point for other models. Here's another one, with a headshot of a man. The prompt is, in a bustling urban street at dusk, a curious person stands near a vibrant neon sign, their expression reflecting a blend of determination and wonder. And the video nails it. It's the same person from the photo. You can see the warm red light from the neon sign glowing on his face. And the background is a blur of city lights. It's so atmospheric and perfectly matches the prompt. Look at how amazing this one is. A reference photo of a young woman. And the prompt is, in a bustling open-air market filled with vibrant colors and aromatic spices, an animated person engages enthusiastically with their surroundings. In the video, she's standing right in front of a stall, looking incredibly happy and engaged. The background is alive with detail, and the facial similarity is just chef's kiss. It's so impressive. Now, a model is only as good as its ability to follow instructions, so let's look at a test of that. The prompt is, a person sits at a wooden table in a warmly lit kitchen, joyfully eating a plate of steaming dumplings. They lift each dumpling with a chopstick, dipping it in sauce before taking a bite. In the video, he shows picking up a dumpling and eating it, and his expression is great. But he doesn't dip it in the sauce, so it's not perfect. It can miss a minor detail in a very complex prompt. But honestly, these are the kinds of things that will get ironed out. 
The core achievement, the consistent character is what matters. And in that regard, this is a massive win. Let's rapid fire a few more because they're just too good not to share. A photo of a man is prompted to be a chef sizzling vegetables in a wok. In the video, the fire from the wok realistically illuminates his face, which is of course a perfect match. A prompt of a girl looking astonished results in a video with that exact surprised expression perfectly rendered. Here's a photo of a woman prompted to be playing the violin in a candlelit room. You can see the flickering candlelight changing the lighting on her face, but her underlying features remain completely consistent. To really drive home the versatility, the project page shows montages. They take one photo of a man and generate a dozen different scenarios. Here he is emerging from a lake, he's gardening, now he's hiking on a mountain with a backpack, cooking with the walk, playing the violin, riding a bicycle on a swing, standing on a busy street. It's the same man in every single shot. They do the same with a photo of a beautiful Chinese girl at the train station, celebrating a video game win, walking down a street, wearing a flower crown, eating dumplings, playing the violin. In all these different contexts, lighting, and actions, the face remains perfectly, exactly the same. So how does it work? Under the hood, Lynx is built on a powerful open source video foundation model called a Diffusion Transformer, or DIT. But the real innovation is the addition of two clever, lightweight adapters. The first is the ID adapter. Its only job is to preserve the person's identity. It uses a well-known face recognition system called ArcFace to analyze the input photo and extract the core facial identity, turning it into a compact set of identity tokens that the model can understand. The second is the Ref adapter, which is all about detail. It integrates dense features from the original image to ensure that the texture, lighting, and other fine-grained details are carried over, making the final video look realistic and high quality. These two adapters work in harmony to guide the video generation, constantly telling the model, make sure it looks like this person and make sure the details look real. Now, for the part you've all been waiting for, can you use it? Yes, you can. The team has released the code and the models on GitHub under an Apache 2.0 license. This is a huge deal because it's a very permissive license, meaning you can use it, modify it, and even use it for commercial purposes. They provide full instructions on how to install it and download the models. They've actually released two versions. There's Lynx Full, which is the big, powerful model for the absolute best performance, and Lynx Lite, a lighter version you can run if you don't have a beast of a GPU. This is really thoughtful and makes the technology accessible to more people. Now, you will need some decent hardware. People who have started testing it have noted that the full model is quite heavy. The base model alone is a hefty download around 80 gigabytes. For the best performance, a high-end GPU with plenty of VRAM is recommended. However, the light model can reportedly run on as little as 6 gigabytes of VRAM, which opens it up to a much wider range of systems. I'll put all the links to the project page, the paper, and their GitHub right down in the description so you can go check out all the examples for yourself and even download it to give it a try. This is genuinely a fantastic and well-made model that pushes the entire field forward. I'm incredibly excited to see the videos you all create with this. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into links. If you found this helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest and greatest in AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.